Hello all, welcome to eDraw Max. In this video, we'll look at basic insert features. First, we'll look at inserting tables. To insert a table, go to Insert, click on Table, and move the cursor over the grid to select the number of rows and columns. You can insert a table using the Table option on the right pane, or you can press Ctrl-Alt-T directly. Choose the Insert Table option if the table is larger than 8 by 10. In the pop-up window, input the desired number of rows and columns and choose colors for alternate rows and columns. Margin. Choose any of four margins to change the look of the table. Border. Choose any of the border styles as needed. Function. Choose any of the basic mathematical formulas to do math. To insert a row above, select the cell and click on the Insert Above icon. To insert a row below, select the cell and click on the Insert Below icon. To insert a column to the left, select the cell and click on the Insert Left icon. To insert a column to the right, select the cell and click on the Insert Right icon. To delete a row, select the cell and click on the Delete Row icon. To delete a column, select the cell and click on the Delete Column icon. To merge cells, select the cells you want to merge and click on the Merge Cells icon. To split cells, select the cell and click on the split cells icon. In the pop-up window, enter the number of rows and columns to split the cell into and click OK. You can see I just split one cell into three. To arrange uneven rows and columns, click on Distribute Columns and Distribute Rows. Now we'll look at how to insert a picture. To insert a picture, go to Insert and click on Picture or press Ctrl-Alt-I directly. Browse for the picture path, hit OK. You can also insert a picture from the picture option on the right pane. You can edit the picture by adjusting its brightness, contrast, and transparency level. Crop the selected image to remove any unwanted areas with the predefined shape frames below. To crop to a custom shape, put a custom shape over the image. Select both the shape and the image, and click the button to crop the image within the special shape frame. To remove a part of the image, put a shape on the image, select both the shape and image, and click the button to take out the part of the image that is covered by the shape. To return the image to its original state, click this button and the selected image will return to its original state. To recolor the picture, click this button to choose various filter effects for the selected image. For predefined clipping, click on the predefined shape and click anywhere on the canvas to get the predefined shape. To insert a chart, go to Insert, Insert Chart, In the pop-up Insert Chart window, choose the desired type of chart. And click OK. To customize a chart, click the chart icon on the right sidebar to open the chart pane. Set the properties of the chart according to your requirements.
To insert a container, go to Insert, click on Container, and drag and drop the shapes into the container. Now you can move the shapes along with the container altogether. eDraw Max also provides image containers which capture images in the container as per the container shape. To insert a formula, go to Insert, click on Formula. Here you have different mathematical operations to select from. Choose the required mathematical operation, and click Confirm you will see the mathematical operations inserted here. Now let's look at inserting vector text. To add vector text, select Insert, select Vector Text, type the words on the pop-up Add Vector Text window, modify the font style, font size, and adjust text styles, and select OK. Now let's look at how to insert QR codes. To insert a QR code, go to Insert, and click on QR code. In the pop-up Insert QR Code window, input the web URL or text, and eDraw Max will create the corresponding QR code. You can adjust the margin, code quality, and upload or remove logos. Then click on Insert. Now we'll look at inserting font symbols. To insert special font symbols in the diagram, go to Insert, click on Font Symbol. For basic symbols, move the cursor over the menu and pick the symbol you want. For more symbols, click More Font Symbols to open the Insert Font Symbol window. Click Font to switch symbol categories. Select the symbol and click Insert. You'll see the inserted font symbols. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.